the ambulance is an E Super Duty 7.3 liter power stroke diesel. Gets about 360 miles for a half a tank if I keep it at 60 miles per hour on the highway, which is good. And it's not putting a lot of stress on the engine and it's more relaxing. So, then this compartment here is where I get to my avocado, a koozie, or get into my mini fridge. Which is super nice and full right now and I can't show you because my avocado. So I have my diesel heater exhaust right next to my regular exhaust. My fuel line running into the back standing compartment where the oxygen tank was, which I always have unlocked because my fire extinguisher is right there. As you can see, it's pumping away, doing its job. Here's my laundry bucket. Put all my dirty socks and sweatpants and stuff. And then I have a lid, so when I'm on the road, it'll wash it around and do its thing. Got my nice bike rack on the back. Thanks to Heidi and Dave Ham, we're all set. And yeah, last night I bumped into some dirt. As you can see, we have a little souvenir. <laughs> now we have flying hangers at us. This is my closet. I keep the bungee there just to keep all the clothes from shutting in the door. I got my grab bag just in case anything happened. It's got enough clothes in there so I can at least survive for like a week or so. I got my snorkeling fins and all my my goggles, my lead weights, and space heater, and a fan for when it gets hot. And then that gray bag is all my wetsuits. Indoor access for my tools, pots and pans, and my uh, one butane burner. Next is the toy compartment, or next is my favorite compartment, where I have a 25 gallon fresh water tank, extra shoes on top. I fill it with hoses and, or I fill it with a regular hose and these RV filters. Uh, the mineral spirits was for when I'm working on the countertops. Five gallon gray water tank, which is pumped out by the uh, repurposed aspirator pump. And then I have a vanity sink drain it goes into the pool tube, into the bucket. Then I have the Victron battery monitor, the shunt there, and then some fuses and wiring going on, yeah. Four 12 volt Renogy 100 amp hour batteries, ran in parallel for 400 amp hours. Ran into the next compartment, which I always have these locked just so. If you're at like Walmart, you're not like, oh, someone might do something with it. Now I have the Ames Power 3000 watt inverter. And then here are my breakers for my 12 volt power and my solar power, which was solar power goes through my App Ever charge controller. Have any, haven't had any issues with any of this stuff, so it's working good. I'm enjoying it. I'm comfortable out here in Colorado. We got nothing around. No shore power, no running water, just a bunch of sun power, and the beautiful mountains in the back. Yeah, you can kind of see that. So, living comfortable.